Hickory dickory dock, this chick was sucking my beep. Tree blind mice. Oh! Okay, being a little silly there, my very poor Andrew Dice Clay impression. So, Joe's last guess, Andrew Dice Clay. And, oh my God, the hate this guy is getting. I'm just scrolling through the hundreds, thousands of comments on Reddit. This guy is such a tool. Dude is wearing fingerless gloves at 65. Oh my God, this has to be the worst podcast ever. All the guy does is brag how great he is selling out arenas, blah, 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 blah. There are hundreds, thousands. So had to do a video on this. Um, this has got to be uh, really, you know, kind of a generational thing. You know, most of the people on Reddit are probably millennials, you know, Gen Zers, some Xers, probably not a whole lot of boomers. So the, pointing out the whole thing with Andrew Dice Clay, you don't know whether or not he's, it's just shtick law, right? So Andrew Dice Clay had this character, this guy from Brooklyn, you know, Andrew Dice Clay is actually Jewish. He's a Jewish guy, but he does an Italian guy from fucking Brooklyn. You know, that that was a stick a lot. And when he first came up, he was doing a character, and it was such a huge hit, he kind of became this over-the-top, ridiculous person. And he doesn't let it go. I mean, I don't know what he's like in real life. I, it, it's just a weird thing. So it's kind of like, is this an a Andy? Remember Andy Kaufman? Again, I'm aging myself. Andy Kaufman, the fake wrestling. Um, Maybe another video. So I'm an older guy, so probably younger people may not remember Andy Kaufman or the reference. So so I'm assuming a lot of this stuff is like you don't really know who he is. And to be fair, a lot of the stuff is dated. If you go on YouTube and see his stuff, it's like the you know, the rhymes, hickory dickory dock, like you're like, what is this? Is this funny? And you see thousands of people ch chiming in, you dickory dickory. You know, they loved it. I mean, Andrew Dice Clay, as he said, you'll hear because he's a braggart. You know, I was selling out arenas. I was selling out. I was the first guy to sell out arenas and all that kind of stuff. The wind's blowing here. So, I don't know. I'm not done with it. If I'd, I could see, if you don't know who he is, I understand the comments. Here's the thing, which is true. Like, Dice, man, you're fucking, you are old, man. You're 65. And yeah, you're wearing all this, this fingerless gloves. I know it's probably a bit, and that's how your whole career is on this Andrew Dice Clay character. But man, I don't know. You kind of have to evolve. Like if you're still doing a, that young person's bit, you're gonna, you're just gonna look really foolish. You know, like you kind of, you kind of. I understand being relevant and all that, but I, I, I. I, I I get it. I don't know. So just scrolling through. <laughs> I'll put some of this stuff in the comment, uh, on the comment section. So by the way, you may be asking, why am I doing another Joe Rogan thing? Uh, last couple of videos, I said I was done with Rogan. I'm not saying I'm completely done. I'm very selective. Joe happened to have three very good guests uh, or th three guests that I'd be interested in. Him. So the Dice Clay, definitely. And again, if you, if you grew up in the 80s, like Andrew Dice Clay, 86, 87, like even the early 90s, you know, Stern was, well, he had the radio, but with Sam Kinnis, it was really those two guys, and Joe talks about it all the time, um, ad nauseum. By the way, the Sam Kinison bit, he must he must have talked about the the necrophiliac Sam Kinison, whatever. So, so I'm seeing a lot of like Dice Clay sucks, Sam Kinison sucks. You just had to live through it, right? A lot of the stuff might be dated. And by the way, very mean, like totally politically incorrect. Like his jokes and even talks about this, like really going after fat people. It's really like fucking pretty bad, really horrible stuff. Misogyny, all that stuff. And I know misogyny is a big thing on the internet today on the right, but Dice Clay was definitely doing it in the 80s and 90s. So all I kind of have to say with this is I don't think if you don't know who he is, if you didn't live 
through the 80s, you're going to probably think, as these comments say, he's the, the biggest jerk off, biggest fucking asshole. Talk about arrested development, wearing all this leather. You're, dude, you're 65 years old, you're old, and all that. I get it. So, Andrew Dice Clay, I don't know. Poor Andrew, I don't know. You're going to go to Rogan's mothership and do, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Make him come back at 65, who knows. All right. Short one today. Good friends, good books on Sleepy Conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here on Tabor Talk.